With the calendarios, and I'm talking about from the Mexico all the way to Mayan, they're really, what's really important is their alignment. They were so intelligent about the world that they saw how no matter what was going on in the universe, it impacted us. But it really was about getting us to align in such a way that we will be in accord with nature and with time and with the cosmos. It's a very beautiful concept because when you're in accord with the, the rhythms of nature, you really are in harmony, you really are in balance, you really are a fuller person. And I think this comes from the fact that now, after all this so-called civilization, we've completely dis disconnected ourselves. Now we're living in an oil-based world and we're buying things, we believe in stuff that don't make sense, fantasies like mortgages, it's all fantasy. The wage system, it's all fantasy. Everything that this world social order is, is totally made up, this border. People die for it and it's totally made up. So we're living illusions that were created by others that has no basis and it's actually killing us. The idea is to go back to a time in which the world was that one world and everybody lived in it and everybody had to support each other, make sure people's needs were met and nobody was left behind. That to me is what matters. That's what 2012 is really all about. Right now, the consciousness is already coming out. I see it. I've never seen it be like this before. I'm sure you feel it now. Yeah. People are talking stuff they never used to talk about. They're challenging the capitalist system, which never used to happen. Uh, they're talking about cooperation. They're talking about our f environmental footprint. They're talking about the technology that can actually make it so nobody has to work. This is all possible. So to me, consciousness is already there. Now, whether it'll change the system, it might take a cab catastrophic thing. I don't know. It might take some catalyst that we don't even know. But I do think it's all going towards change. And that's what 2012 is really about. 2012 is the big change. Everything is cyclical, but it doesn't just go cyclical. It goes in a spiral. So you're going on a higher level each time. Now we're at that point and change becomes the main thing that we have to be about.